In this video, I'll show you eight examples on how to perform calculations with the correct number of significant digits. In question A, we're expected to multiply these three numbers and then divide by 3.4555. This has three significant figures. This has four, this has five, and this also has five. When it comes to multiplying and dividing numbers, you have to take into account the number with the least amount of significant figures. So your final answer needs to have three in this case. So using our calculator, We'll multiply these four numbers, 1.10 times 0 0.5120 times 4.0015 divided by 3.4555. This gives us 0 0.65219. Now because we have to stop writing after the third significant figure, everything after this two is insignificant. Also, because this one is less than five, we will leave this number as 0 0.652. That's our final answer, 0 0.652. In the next question, we have to add and subtract these three numbers. When it comes to adding and subtracting, you have to take into account the number with the least number of decimal places. So since this number has three decimal places, this has one and this has four, whatever our sum or difference is here, it has to have one decimal place. Using our calculator once again, 0.355 plus 105.1 minus 100.5820 gives us 4.873. Therefore, our final answer needs to be 4.9 because this 7 is greater than 5 and it's the first number that we have to discard. So this becomes a 9. 4.9 is our final answer. In question C, we have multiplication here, and then we have these numbers that are in brackets. So this one is slightly more difficult than A and B. What we have to do is find out the answer to this because of the order of operation. We have to find out what's inside the brackets first before anything else. So let's go ahead and do that. We will end up with 452.6755 minus 452.33. Our answer here needs to be two decimal places long because this has two decimal places, this has four. This gives us 0 0.3455. This becomes 0 0.3455. Now to reflect the two decimal places that I mentioned earlier, what I'll do is place a dot underneath the number that marks the number of significant figures. So when I perform my next calculation, I'll remember that this number has two significant figures. Now we'll go on to multiply these. 4.562 times 3.99870, that gives me 18.24, divided by what we just found, 0.3455. This gives us the number 52.7990. Our final answer, has to have two significant figures because this number right here is two significant figures. And when it comes to multiplying and dividing, you always use the number with the least amount of digits as your significant figures. So our final answer here should be 53 because this seven is greater than five. We end up with 53. So just to recap, I use the rules of significant figures here for adding and subtracting and it turned out that our answer had to have two decimal places. So I put a dot right underneath the four and I kept the two fives. I multiplied these and then divided by this number, keeping in mind that this number has two significant figures and that's our final answer. Let's try D. Here we have to multiply 14.84 times 0 0.55 minus this. We'll find out what this is equal to first and we should end up with a number that is two significant figures. 14.84 times 0.55 gives us 8.162. 8.162. And since this has to have two significant figures, I'll put a dot right here to reflect that. And when I subtract this number from 8.02, we should have two numbers after the decimal. So taking this number and subtracting 8.02, we get 0 0.142, stop writing after the four. 0 
Now, for added practice, I would like you to try E, F, G, and H, and they reflect A, B, C, and D. So I'll let you work on those, and in part two of this video, I'll show you the solutions to these four questions. And there you have it. That is how to perform calculations with significant figures.